This one is a patron vote winner, and the theme was fantasy Bad. fiction, so I think we're going to get a really, really good story. And I don't know this guy at all, but I've done a bit of research, and he seems like a proper, proper muso. So I'm really, really excited to give him a listen. And we sure have enjoyed playing for you folks here tonight in Saratoga. We appreciate you coming out. We'd like to close our set. With our latest single, this is called The Devil Went Down to Georgia. looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind oh, wow. and he was willing to make a deal. When it came across this young man saw on a It reminds me of Tenacious D. And the devil jumped up on a hickory stump and said, boy, let me tell you what. Or Tenacious D actually like probably took part of the idea from this. This is so cool. Um, I am really into country and bluegrassy style stuff. So um, I always say this, I, I don't know enough about it, but I always really, really enjoy it when I hear it. As far as I can tell, it's about a guy who's going to get taken by the devil, but he ends up playing fiddle for him. We'll find out. You didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player too. And if you care to take a dare, I'll make a bet with you. Now you play pretty good fiddle, boy, but give the devil his due. I better fiddle of gold against your soul, because I think I'm better than you. Boy, said, my name's Johnny, and it might be a sin, but I'll take your bet you're going to regret, because I'm the best as ever been. Johnny, rising up your bow and play your fiddle hard, because hell's broke loose in Georgia and the devil deals the cards. Those harmonies are tight. Get the shiny fiddle made of gold. If you lose, the devil gets your soul. start this show and fire. It's kind of like country rapping, which I find kind of cool. Um, but it is real storytelling. And you know what's really important? He isn't just saying it. He is speaking it within the rhythm of the song. It's like a cross between a poem and rapping and singing so that you're, you know, it's all about keeping that drive going so that you have that the music continuing, you know, you're not just chatting away. Flew from his fingertips as he rolls it up his bow. And he like there, fire flew from his fingertips as a, you know, it's not even. His bow across the strings and it made it's not evil speaking hiss. The band of demons joined in Ooh. it sounded something like this. God. I've never heard anyone play a fiddle like that. When the devil finished, wow. Johnny said, Well, you're pretty good, old son, but sit down in that chair right there. I'm going to show you how it's done. Fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. The devil's in the house of the rising sun. A chicken in the red pan, a big and I do I am completely enthralled by his violin playing. It, um, I love how he is making a soundscape as well as just music. I love that in music when you take uh, sounds or take the instrument and morph it into a, a storytelling uh yeah soundscape i think that like you know we can use music of course as that because music to me is the emotions it shows us where our emotional journey but you can also in a story like this where it is very visual um bring us into that world by creating the sounds uh, really cool. devil bow 
bowed his head because he knew that he'd been beat. And he laid that golden fiddle on the ground at Johnny's feet. Johnny He'd said, been beat by that come on back fiddle, if you sure. ever want to try again. I done told you once, you son of a bitch, I'm the best as ever been. And he played the I can't get over these harmonies as well, they're so tight. The rhythms, so good. Okay, before we get to the end, I want to just tell you a few facts that I found out in my research. So first of all, this song wasn't actually written by Charlie Daniels. It was written by a guy called Vassar Clements, who actually just wrote the basic melody and octave down in a tune called The Lonesome Fiddle Blues. And then um, it was adapted by Charlie Daniels and the Charlie Daniels Band. Charlie Daniels is a proper muso, and I know this because he was a session musician before for people like Bob Dylan, for people like Leonard Cohen. So he's done a lot of kind of great work in the background and it's really cool to see him step forward here but you can tell in the musicianship everything is so tight it is so perfect like those harmonies the rhythms the togetherness it's someone who understands music and is completely completely spot on and like probably a little bit obsessive about getting it spot on you can hear that um perfectionism within the music and it's kind of wonderful to hear but it's not perfectionism for perfectionism's sake it's a sounds like a real joy of um finding a way to tell the story and uh, there's so much joy in it as well <laughs> Wow. I so get why they're like roaring like that. You don't expect to hear that sort of roar for a kind of country music style song, but that perfectionism, that joy, the storytelling, everything that goes into that piece, I completely understand why. It's not massive, like, um, you know, a big rock song that makes you, that makes you want to go wild, but it completely draws you in that story and you become enthralled by the sounds and the virtuosity of the playing and the singing. It's absolutely fantastic. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!